camped last night at this really beautiful spot called uh, Lower Palisade Lakes. We're at 10,650-ish feet, so pretty high elevation, definitely in the Alpine area. No campfires here. Um, today we're going to go over Mather Pass, somewhere in that direction. It's a uh, four mile up, probably many miles down. But it's past day. Past day. day. We're at the top of Mather Pass. Um, we came over from our camp spot next to the lake. The north side had not a ton of snow, but the snow it did have was like whoosh. So we put on the spikes so we wouldn't whoosh down. Um, I kept them on for a while. And then we had to climb all of this like loose boulder, loose rock. The spikes help a little bit, but um, still kind of dangerous. And somebody said yesterday they had to self arrest. I believe probably on that spot. So we were trying to be extra careful. Um, everything seems easier now that we did Muir Pass. So this seemed like kind of not a cakewalk, but really not that bad in comparison. We did start about like halfway up at our campsite. Um, and now we have, I don't know, six miles down on that side. We are making our way up Pincho Pass. We are currently at Lake Marjorie and the color of this water is insanely blue. It does not show up the same on this camera. This looks like one of the least steep passes that we've done yet, which is really refreshing. Uh, today we've been moving quick and uh, we got some great rest last night. We had like a nice fire, actually got to camp before sunset and uh, had a little bit of downtime to relax. Moving quickly this morning. Oh, no. <laughs> All right, congrats. You just made it up the top of Pincho Pass. How do you feel? Snotty. That was not as bad as some of the other ones. But we heard, we hear there's a storm coming, a snowstorm. It's August 18th, and there's a snowstorm coming in two days. So we're getting a little bit worrisome. We're thinking that we might have to push and complete the, the rest of it faster than we expected so we don't get caught in a major snowstorm. So up here on top of Pincho Pass, it is incredibly windy and that is a pretty strong signal that this storm is definitely going to come here soon.